Hello everyone, and welcome to the week four edition of the Wilkes Journal Patriots High School Football Rundown presented by Cooks and produced by River Street Productions. I'm sports editor Zach Colburn, and assistant sports editor Brandon Marie will be joining momentarily to take a closer look at this week's games. Three Wilkes County teams were in action on Friday, and two of them came away with blowout wins. One of those was this week's Game of the Week, and Brandon has more of that over at the big board. The Blackhawks moved to 2 and 1 this year as they took care of the Camels visiting from Atkins in Winston-Salem 55 to 6 on Friday night. Noah Dancy scored the first touchdown there after a short five play drive and before the Blackhawks touched the ball again on offense they scored two more touchdowns including that pick six from Dante McPherson that gave the team a 21 to nothing lead. They would score two more times before the end of the first quarter thanks to two runs from Alex Ortiz including that one from 19 yards away. Atkins would find the end zone on this 45 yard pass from Lashad Johnson to Garrett Whitaker. Adam's going to lose him there for a second but when we find him in the end zone that was Atkins first offensive touchdown for the season. The two coaches agreed to have a running clock in the second half but that did not stop the Blackhawks from finding the end zone two more times including that 22 yard scamper from quarterback Trenton Walsh. For the game Mr. Walsh there had two completions for 61 yards and seven carries for 56 yards and a pair of touchdowns. Noah Dancy had 89 yards and two touchdowns and Mr. Ortiz also scored twice as well. Kicker Noah Triplett had a good game as he made all six of his point after attempts and also found the end zone twice on kickoffs. Zach, back to you. Thanks Brandon. The East Wilkes Cardinals were the only team out of town in week four but that didn't stop them from dominating on the gridiron. The Cardinals traveled to North Stokes and came back with an emphatic 56-6 win. Five different Cardinals found the end zone in the game, including JV and Ross, who had 86 yards on four carries. Ross, as well as Devin Couch, each scored a pair of touchdowns in the game. Blake Dowell, Damian Reed, and Joel Logan also hit Pater for the Vikings. Couch also caught a pair of passes for 79 yards to go along with his 68 rushing yards. The Vikings' lone touchdown came on a Tyler Bowman run in the fourth quarter. Meanwhile, back in Moravian Falls, Wilkes Central and Patton were locked in an old-fashioned shootout. Brandon's got the highlights at the big board. Patton slid past Wilkes Central 72-52, to combining for 124 points, which we believe is the highest combined scoring total for a game involving Wilkes Central in their program history. We just saw Camden Wyatt find Josiah Ferguson there for his first touchdown pass. That was in the first quarter. And now we're going to see Mr. Parsons run for 72 yards to find the end zone. He had another big night. He had 213 yards on the ground. That puts him over 800 for the season. We've only played four games. In a game with more than 120 combined points, there was just this one defensive highlight. We see Dakota Hodges there scoop up a fumble and take it all the way back to the house for six points. Late in the game, Patton started to pull away. We had a couple of big plays, touchdowns from quarterback Joe Eakin. He actually had six of them on the game. We just saw one right there. And running back William Brawley also had a strong night running the ball as he finished with 273 yards and two touchdowns. We saw Camden Wyatt earlier find Josiah Ferguson for a touchdown. Here Josiah is going to return the favor on a reverse pass. We're going to see him come around the end here and make a nice throw into the end zone where Camden Wyatt's going to find it, make a diving catch. All right, for the game, Mr. Parsons, we said, 213 yards on 24 carries, two touchdowns. Camden Wyatt went 9 for 16 for 130 yards and two touchdown passes. Tyler Bowles, making his first appearance of the season, caught the other one. We saw Josiah Ferguson's there in the first quarter. Bowles finished tonight with that one catch for 58 yards. He also had 11 carries for 38. Zach, back to you. Thanks. This week, East Wilkes and West Wilkes will be on the road at Forbush and North Iredell, respectively. North Wilkes will be back in action as they host Avery County, and the Eagles will take the week off. Before we go, we want to send you off with the Play of the Week presented by River Street Productions. Brandon, let's see it. All right, we're going to go back to that big first quarter West Wilkes had in Miller's Creek on Friday night. Not the best punt there from Atkins, but John Hamby is going to scoop it up on the 41-yard line. He's going to take it around the right-hand side, and nobody's even going to lay a finger on him for the Blackhawks' first special teams touchdown of the season. All right, Zach, take us home. 
Alrighty, this has been the week four edition of the Wilkes Journal Patriots High School Football Rundown presented by Cooks. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at WJP underscore sports, and we'll see you on Friday night.